As host, Papua New Guinea automatically qualified to the tournament and is current reigning Pacific Games champions. With coach Gary Phillips also looking at good performances by the team. Negotiations are also underway to have Asian countries play in one of tournaments in the country as well. With the competition to involve different categories ranging from the under 17 through to senior men and women. You know, we try to negotiate and see whether they can come to Papua New Guinea to do a one-off tournament or I might invite two or three countries to come with a four nations tournament so that we can not only use our facilities, make use of our facilities, but also to promote our players. In terms of the under-23 preparation, Chung also believes the squad has potential with new coach Ricky Herbert. Current young, young players have a very, very big potential. Through our development programs, they have improved a lot, I can say that. Okay. So now I'm counting on the coach to do the magics, you know, that he should be, hopefully he can deliver, that's all I can say. With the Pacific Games organizing committee announcing that the Sir Hubert Murray Stadium will have seating for 15,000 people, these proposals provide an avenue for the exposure of the national team on a larger scale than ever before. Currently, Papua New Guinea's last international match on home soil ended in a 3-0 victory over Samoa in Kokopo. And prior, the senior men's teams 5-3 lost to the Solomon Islands in 2005 and Vanuatu two years before that. Jeremy Mogi, National. MTV Sports.